Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another very easy 100% 1000 out of 1000 achievement guide and this time you're getting it all in Discoloured. A very fascinating adventure game developed and published by God Bay Games LLC and is available for £8.39 or $9.00-dues-99. So this is one of those first person adventures where we need to find items, shove items together, shove those together items up somewhere else, maybe where the sun don't shine, um, <laughs> no, 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 uh, but you get my point. You know, we go in searching for things and well, as the title says, we need to get some colour back in this small area that we find ourselves in. Achievements wise, as what kind of seems to be the norm these days, it's very easy, but it is not as simple as your typical jetalon complete the level type crud. There are a few missable achievements, and some of the puzzles may be confusing a little bit slightly, but not too bad to figure out. But again, that is why I am here, because I love you. And I'd never want to see you guys confused and angry. Anyway, all in all, following this guide should get you your shiny new 1000 gamer score in around 15 to 20 minutes. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So you don't have to mess around with uh, settings or anything. Uh, there's no dialogue or anything in the game. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to choose a free roam rather than point and click. So make sure to choose free roam. Now, what you can do then, you can skip any cutscenes with the Y button. You can run a little bit faster with the right bumper. But what we're going to do, uh, go to the left on this desk right here. Press the A button to interact. The right stick to move and then interact with that kind of type thing there and then just press the A button to back out. Press the X button to go into your inventory and yeah, so it may be a little bit slightly confusing on how to use things first but go into this next room, uh, pick up the suitcase, open your inventory with the X button and then you can now interact with the suitcase again pressing the A button. We're going to interact with the viewer which will come in handy for a lot. Press the A button again to interact uh, and get out. And then, as long as you see the arrow, press the A button again. And then what we can do is actually combine our inventory. So again, X button to open it up. And then press the A button on one thing and use it with another. So use the photo card on the viewer right there. Now, the end of the level is through this door, but we're not going to be going through it yet. So that is our main objective, but we're going to be getting a secret missable achievement first. So you see this TV right here? It's very pretty. There's not a lot going on. Kind of looks like Fallout nuclear war stuff. But what that TV is going to do is it's going to start eventually uh, counting down. And what we need to do is quickly go into this elevator here. There's going to be a crowbar behind that sort of panel. And then what you need to do is run to this TV underneath it. Use the crowbar on this panel and then take out the spy box. That is what is going to get us the achievement. But it will take just a couple of minutes for the TV to start counting down. It does start counting down from 60 seconds. Because for some reason, everything just counts down from 60 seconds. I haven't got that long to live. Give it to me now. So, there it goes then. So, it may take a couple of minutes. I've obviously edited it, did, did, did down some, of course. So, we wait. And I edited it down. Uh, what you can do as well, mind, if you're fearing that you might balls this up, like I almost did, you can actually save it. So, with around 15 seconds or so, 15, 20 seconds or so left, make a manual save. But when we get to 10 seconds, we are going to turn around, run for us to the elevator, and then keep mashing the A button on this panel. It's sort of in, in around the middle. Keep mashing it, and then eventually, come on, there it is. So we've got the crowbar. Run to underneath the TV, press the X button to get your inventory out. Obviously, click on it as well, and then press the A button. When the crowbar signs up, press the X button to go out with your inventory, and then click on the spy box. That will unlock that achievement. So, and, and that's what I mean by the inventory is slightly annoyingly confusing sometimes. So you've got to click on the item and then back out of the inventory to use it, which when you're trying to rush like that kind of puts pressure on you and you end up crapping your pants. N not literally, of course, figuratively, figuratively, I forgot the word, but you know what I mean. So you use the viewer with the um, picture and then we could go through, sorry. Uh, kept getting ahead of myself there. So what we're going to do is head to the left as we begin and we go into this back sort of area and grab in this bucket. And we're going to be getting another missable achievement, just fall off the edge. Don't do it gay, you get so much to live for! Honestly, you do. 
And then we're going to sort of start by the right side of the diner. So we're going over to the well, use the bucket, and then use it on the hook. And then use the crank next to it. Again, you can just press the Y button and that'll skip any sort of cutscenes. Mostly uh, skip cutscenes. Get the crank again. This time pick up the bucket and the hook. So make sure not to forget the hook. And then we can go inside said diner. Remember, you can uh, run using the right bumper. He sounds like he runs very loud for some reason. Anyway, we're going to head up the stairs here. Go to the left and it, directly in front of us is going to be this little gardening pot type thing. And what we're going to do is use that bucket with water. So again, go into the inventory, press A on it, and then press X to back out of the inventory. Always to use something. You'll get used to it. Pick up the item from in there. And job is a good un. And we're going to be using, uh, click on the cash register picture and then use that with the uh, viewer as well. So you've got the picture in the viewer. And then we're going to head back downstairs. <laughs> and we're actually going to use... The uh, viewer on the cash register. Now, it's fairly obvious where most of these things are, so it should be fine. But use the viewer with the cash register, and then that is where we can get our green prism gem triangle, probably worth a million dollars type thing. Uh, have a look on this table, and we're going to interact with this thing. Grab the ticket. That's very important for an achievement as well, so make sure to grab that ticket, and then head back up the stairs. And then what we can do is. Now use that million dollar baby green prison thing in this uh, plant pot. Yeah, the inventory, probably the only terrible, not, not very good thing about this game. But anyway, when we get that, grab the pole and then we can use the hook with the pole that we just picked up. Pole with the empty hole. I've heard that before, Pornhub. Um, stick your pole in my empty hole, man. Oh, my God. Uh, use the pole with the hook. Sorry. And then use it with the attic. And now we can finally climb up. Make sure to grab the green prism as well before you head up. When you do uh, climb up and down stairs again, you can press the Y button to just skip forward a little bit. And then around by the bed, you can actually open this up. And you can see the blue prism. Now, that would have been locked if we didn't pick the green prism up. So, we've got to open it, go back downstairs, and then put the green prism back in the flower pot. And then we can get what's behind the waterfall. Don't know why we couldn't have just stuck our hands in the um, water. Unless it's a force field and it blows our balls off. Then, you know, we don't want to be doing that. Head back up, round the side, and then pick up... It does look like water, but anyway, pick up the green Record, pick up the green crank as well, and we're going to be getting another missable achievement. So we're going to need, ugh, we're going to need to interact with the crane. Three buttons on the left. Um, interact with the first one first, that turns it round. Then interact with the second one, that pulls it down. And then interact with the third um, button option there, that would close it. And then you just need to do that again. So pick it up this time, using the second button. Spin it around using the first option. Put it down again using the second option and then open it up using option number three. See, I'm French and I didn't know it. Legend! And anyway, there we go. And then use the right stick there, of course, to move around. Pick up the moon and that unlocks us that achievement. Delicious! Stealing the moon. Gru never thought of that in Despicable Me, did he? <laughs> anyway, we're heading back down and we are heading downstairs again. Now we are going to head outside, go to the left, and we're going back to the well. And what you need to do is, we've got that crank, remember, from a little bit earlier on, from the attic. So, get your crank out, and then stick it in the hole again, and then interact with it. And the wetness will appear. Actually, it's just a blue, another million dollar prism. So, we've got the blue one this time. Now we can head actually back up. <laughs> Sorry. Now we're going to head up all the way into the attic and put our blue $2 million prism inside. There we go. Turn around. And there she is. There she blows. Stick it inside. Get your achievement. Do not get your $2 million. Uh, make sure to pick up this blue doorknob here on the door, obviously, before you head down. Where else would knobs go? Don't answer that question. Head into the bedroom, and then on the right-hand side of the bed, in this right-hand drawer, there is a book. So make sure to pick that book up, 
and uh, we'll come to that a little bit later on. That is again, it's for another achievement, so we're going to head out, go to the left, go into the next room. Um, after you stick your knob inside, the, the doorknob obviously, pick up this um, bar stool and then open up this sort of uh, suitcase. Put the record in and then interact with the button on the right hand side. You'll have to wait for about 30 seconds or so, maybe even less than that, but we're going to be getting two items. The uh, red prism I believe and the seeds. So pick up both items, the seeds and the red prism. And you're probably wondering where the hell are we going with this. Head back downstairs anyway for the time being. And now on the right, very right hand side here we can see you can't put the moon on the bar stool. Doesn't work, sadly. Uh, but we are going to be using the bar stool on the empty bar stool. And then if you interact with it that is actually going to make the bar stool um, open up this little secret basement. But for now we're going to head back outside, head to the right. And where the bucket was, if you interact with this little dirt patch and again interact with it, we can actually get our inventory out and put the seeds in. Now this is where the second ticket stub is as well. Sorry, I've done that quite quickly then, but that, you make sure to pick up the second ticket stub. Um, again, that is for an achievement with the phone booth later on, so you should now have two tickets. So now we're going to head back inside and go downstairs in our newly found basement. Oh my god, that's where you've been hiding all the kids! Jesus Christ! No, sorry, wrong one. Pick up the wood there from the left-hand side of the desk, then open up the furnace. You'll have to interact with it twice to unlock and open it. Then put the wood inside. So, sorry, that was probably a risque joke just then. Um, put the wood inside. And then again, obviously close the furnace and then lock it again. So you'll have to interact with that twice. And then we can interact with the red prism and put that in. That should unlock us the red achievement. Of course. Happy days. Now we interact with the book. Now there were a couple of clocks with all the same time in there. Um, and basically that was the clue uh, to this achievement so what you're going for is put the little hand on number four and then the big hand on the sort of 35 so basically the times 435 yeah you, you should that, that's pretty obvious or just copy exactly what i do there anyway that should unlock us this red key because we're actually locked now but not for longer because magic and video games uh so the red key that we just got open that up and then on the back wall, there are going to be two switches that we need to interact with. So the left and the right one, interact with those both once. Now the phone booth will be open for us. So when we head back outside, head back up and head back outside, go directly in front of us right here. And like I said, this phone booth did not work before, but it does now. So we interact with it, uh, interact with the phone, and then interact with the phone once more. And there we go. Now, if you get out the moon from your inventory, this acts as a quarter, or 25 pence, or 20 pence. Now, the it's the numbers on the two tickets that you need to do. So, it's 1, 2, 2, 7, 7, 3, 3, 4. So, that's 1, 2, 2, 7, 7, 3, 3, 4. Into, uh, dial the number and choose the raindrop options there and then that will unlock us the achievement. You have to do those numbers all in one if you back out. It basically just ends the call and you've just got to do it again. Anyway, head to the right hand side with the well. Interact with this newly found picture which was on the fence. And then what we're going to do is head back down into the death basement. I'm just joking. Of course it's not a death basement. And then you need to interact with the uh, red prism. So we're going to take that one out, the $3 million red prism. And we're going to head back up the old wooden hill. And that's where we're going to be continuing. We're going back up the stairs. See a very small area, enough to get used to. We're going back into the bedroom. And then we're going to interact, basically get out the... Uh, if you interact with the TV, sorry, get the image... Put it with the TV and that will unlock us the signal achievement. And then if we actually turn the dial on the right hand side, the top one, this paint little or this bo little bottle will appear. So make sure to do that and then we're going to head back down into Death Valley's basement. Can I stop calling it? Not everyone's basement is a death basement. I've got to remember that. Um, listening to too many podcasts that <laughs> murder podcasts. Anyway, go back to the furnace, put the red prism back in so the room looks beautiful and pretty again. And the paintbrush will appear, so now we're going to take that paintbrush. 
Um, with the um, art canvas right next to it, we go into um, interactive paintbrush with the canvas. That is going to turn that blue, look delicious. And then again, once we're going to, when, ugh, what we're going to do is take the red prism back out, and then we're going to head back upstairs again. Man, I hope this bar's got a drink because I am tired walking around and stuff. I want some pie, damn it. Anyway, this is going to unlock us the evil moon achievement because, well, it's it's an evil moon. And that is basically, that is pretty pervy as you can get. That's like my current workplace, watching the cameras all the time. Piss off, man. Anyway, we're going back up the uh, stairs now. And we're going to be grabbing the $1 million green prism from the plant pot. We're going upstairs to grab the $2 million blue prism. I just assume that, you know, the, the kind of rare artifacts, I, I assume. So I assume they'd be a lot of money. Probably a lot a lot more. Worth a lot more than that. But that's what we need to grab. So grab the green prism, grab the blue prism, and we're going back downstairs. And we're actually heading into the basement now because there's going to be a picture that has just opened or appeared out of nowhere. There it is, so it's on the canvas, so make sure to pick that up. This guy's not questioning how random things are appearing and disappearing all the time. I'd be crapping my pants and getting the hell out of there. Anyway, we're going to head back outside for the time being. Now, just in front of the phone booth, there is a little light, which turns out to be a triangle. What you need to do is uh, go into your inventory and use the viewer with the newfound picture that we just got, the light beam picture. And then what you need to do is use that viewer slash tower picture, whatever it is, and use it actually on the eye. But you can only do it from the phone booth, where the little triangle light is beaming. So I show you sort of what not to do. I thought the closer you get, the better. But as it turns out, um, it just sort of puts you the other end of the diner. So that's where you've got to go then. So basically directly next to where the phone booth is. Then get out your viewer. And this is the, the that is basically the, only, the, the position you've got to stand to interact with it. And we are being perved on by an old man, so that's nice. Anyway, from here, we're going to head to the left. Don't fall off the edge. And we're going to climb up this ladder. And then directly above the door, you can probably just see it. There it is. There's going to be this dial that we need. So make sure to pick that up and then open the door. And then you should have the red, blue, and green prisms. So just pop them on. Definitely probably worth a lot of money this oh if only I could find a couple of prisms not prisons I don't want to go to prison I'm too young to get bummed like that anyway we're going to head back down after you put all the uh, prisms on <laughs> we are going to head back down and we get heading back to the right next to the triangle or that beam of light on the floor there and then we're going to be using that viewer again only this time we're going to use it on the actual tower so use that again that will flood us with beautiful colour. How did people before the 1950s even live without colour? I suppose you don't you don't know what you're missing if you haven't got it, I suppose. Just like virgins. Anyway, so sorry, 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 I'm I'm just awful. So with that then you should get the achievement called Full Spectrum. Now if you interact with this suitcase. Uh, I actually head upstairs. You can do it at any point now. There's a, a new red button on that suitcase. A new frame just appears for us. Again, we're not questioning where it came from. But open up the suitcase, interact with the red button there, press it, and there's going to be this new thing for us to collect. So grab that, back out, back out. Use the viewer, and again, use it on the new um, item that we just picked up, and then use it on the frame. And that's going to put us into the last area. We're literally about 30 seconds away from completing the game and to be fair this has been a, a really beautiful a really nice game as well definitely one of the better ones of the easy ones so have a look at this map right here interact with the white triangle and then it's going to turn into like a poisonous cloud or something um, go back and there's going to be this envelope on the floor next to the door we're going to open up said envelope i'm watching you um which it might as well be, but we need to interact with that item. That is going to unlock us the unfinished achievement. Turn to the right here, look at the radio. Put the dial on said radio, and then just interact with that once. That should then be that, you guys and gals. Woohoo! So, to finish the game, the achievements are done, but to finish the game, 
literally just use the viewer on this, uh, interact with the, in, in, combine the items together, interact with it with the viewer, and that is the game done. So, there we go then, guys and gals. That's another easy, shiny 1,000 out of 1,000 for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> but thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really do highly appreciate everyone who ever watches, likes, comments, and subscribes. You know, if it did help, of course, and you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> don't forget, of course, to check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, also Patreon as well, so I highly appreciate anyone who checks any of those out. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon for the absolute continued support. Uh, everyone who, uh, take, again, takes the time out is just absolutely fantastic, and I love you all. But enjoy your nice, shiny, <laughs> new 1000. I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love. <laughs>